Importance of education. First of all, what is education? Education is the process of achieving knowledge, skills, values, beliefs and habits. Education improves one's knowledge and develops the personality and attitude. For children, education is very important because they are the future of the world, that they are the pillars of the nation. To develop a country and world, children are the weapons to build the nation with all their knowledge and skills. Children at their earliest ages should learn and realize the importance of education in their lives. Proper and good education is very important for all the people. It helps us to gain knowledge and live life independently. For everyone to succeed in life and get something different in order to live a better and peaceful life, we need to be educated. Thus, education helps us to improve self-confidence and gain knowledge. Education has no limitation. People of any age group can get education at any time. Education determines both good and bad things. Education promotes gender equality, reduces child marriage and promotes peace. Education enables students to do the analysis while making life decisions. Education is not about doing a degree. It is about how you can live with your own feet. Standard of living of citizens is largely depend on the level of education that the citizens are able to acquire. Education enhances individual to live life respectfully in the society. Education of a child begins at home. It is a lifelong process that ends with the death. Education enables students to express their views efficiently. Hence, educated people are quite likely to convince people to their point of view. Being in contact with an educated person and involving in a intelligent conversation with them would expand the knowledge and introduces new creativity and joy in the mind. Foundation of society is based on education. Education helps in the development of technology and innovation of medicines, technologies, etc. Education is a ray of light in the darkness. It is suddenly hope for a good life. I'm concluding my words by quoting the famous words of Nelson Mandela. Education is a weapon which you can use to change the whole world. Thank you and have a nice day. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world by Nelson Mandela. Hello everyone. Good morning to all of you. Respected principal, teachers and my dear friends. Today, I am here to present a speech on education and why it is important. Education plays a very important role in everyone's life. It is very necessary to live a great and better life. For that, it is very important to get a proper education. The word education not only means acquiring knowledge. The first objective of getting good education is to become a good citizen then to become a successful person in personal and professional life. Good education will always increase our confidence level and it helps us to determine what is right and what is wrong for us. Education makes us the right thinker and the right decision maker. Education helps us to develop personality and earn recognition and respect in the family and the society. Socially and personally, education is an essential part of human life. In this competitive world, education is the most important thing. So never ignore the importance of education in life at any cost. In our society, a lot of social issues are happening just because of the lack of education. Social issues like inequality, gender discrimination, religious differences, child abuse, child labor, etc. etc. If you are educated, it will help us to maintain personal and social standard in our daily life. We can acquire knowledge at any time. There is no age barrier for gaining knowledge. 
Education is the fundamental right of everyone. Education is a key to solve all the social, personal and professional problems of the people. Education is the most important tool that offers inner and outer strength to a person. If you are enriched with knowledge, we will be admired by all. Education is the most valuable treasure that will make you a successful human being. Thank you. All the aspirations are converted into realities. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Good morning everyone. Respected principal, teachers and all my dear friends. I'm very glad to speak a few words about my teachers and their importance in each one of our life. As we consider our school as our home, all the teachers must be considered as our parent. A good teacher helps us to become a good human being in the society and a good citizen of the country. Teachers know the students who are sitting in front of them are going to rule our nation tomorrow. So the future development of any country is in the hand of a teacher. We are not only learning academic lessons from a teacher, rather we are learning a lot of new things. They play a major role in molding our character. They always encourage us to follow good habits. There was a poor boy who spent his days going door to door, selling newspapers to fee for to pay fee for school. One day he was walking his route. He started feeling low and weak. The poor boy was starving, so he decided to ask for food when he came to the next door. The poor boy asked for food but was denied every time until he reached the door of a girl. He asked for a glass of water but but seeing his poor state the girl came back with a glass of milk. The boy asked how much he wanted her for the milk but she refused payment. Later years later the girl who was now a grown woman fell sick. She, won she went from doctor to doctor, but no one was able to cure her. Finally, she went to the best doctor in the town. The doctor spent mo months treating her until she was finally cured. Despite of her happiness, she was afraid that she couldn't afford to pay the bill. But when the hospital handed her the bill, it read, paid in full with glass of milk. So the moral of the story is the good you do the good
wash the another important yeah. thing are those with physical disabilities all they need is a little help to rise up if they are provided with adequate aid they can enter the mainstream and also receive education and live life to the fullest but education without values is meaningless we should remember aristotle's words educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all value based education is hence included in our curriculum i would like to conclude by quoting nelson mandela education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world thank you और सभी विद्यार्थियों को सीखना आ वेरी वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट इसलिए हिंदी सभी ज्ञान से सभी विद्यार्थियों में ज्ञान से सुनिए अभी मैं एक बार एग्जाम पट पर एक शब्द लिख रहा हूँ सभी ज्ञान से सुनिए पहले हम लिख रहा हूँ as a most powerful weapon that one can use to change the world this was the famous words of nelson mandela yes education as a foundation in which the character is formed quality education should be provided to everyone and it in return strengthens a country and also empowers the people education in my opinion the education that the little ones get inspires and also enlightens them therefore education plays a great role in the life of the human education is a key to progress education education also becomes a very essential in our life education gives you everything in today's modern world education has become one of the most important thing or the basic need that we have to acquire in our life a person without education is just like a boat without its rudder it floats aimlessly besides the good education helps a person to get a good job in my opinion education is very important in our life it helps us in every way and also makes us character very good it is very important in our life it gives us everything some people only see some certain aspects of education but everything is included in it it gives us joy happiness knowledge power and everything and makes us as a good character by saying the famous quotes of malala yousafzai i conclude one child one teacher one book one pen can change the whole world by saying this i conclude my words thank you and have a wonderful day there is an increasing realization and recognition that empowering women is an urgent need of the hour in most of the countries including india social reformers and leaders have been doing a lot to empower women still we have miles to go empowerment of women is of prime importance in every society what is the need of women empowerment to answer this question i would like to say the famous words of pandit jawaharlal nehru that is to awaken the people it is the woman who must be awakened once she is on move the family moves the village moves and the nation moves yes so the woman must be empowered the 21st century poses many new challenges that require a new way of thinking not more important than the economic role of women in a rapidly changing world but women today remain blocked from contributing their true potential the and earn recognition and respect in the family and society we can say that education is socially and personally an essential part of the human life we cannot ignore the importance of education in our life at any cost as we see daily in the society lots of social issues just because of the lack of proper education social issues like inequality gender discrimination religious differences and so many problems are there because of the lack of education in our life proper education helps us to maintain the personal and social standards in daily life the more knowledge we get we grow and develop more in life being well educated never only means to earn certificates and good salary from the recognized and reputed organization companies or institutions however it also means to be a good and social person in life it helps us to determine whether something is good or bad for us and other person related to us
The first purpose of getting good education is being good citizen and then being successful in personal and professional life. We are incomplete without a good education because education makes us right thinker and correct decision maker. In such a competitive world, education has become a necessity for human beings after food, clothes and shelter. It is able to provide solutions to all the problems. It promotes good habits and awareness about corruption, terrorism and other social issues among us. Education is the only key to success in personal and professional life. Education provides us various types of knowledge and skills. It is a continuous, slow and secure process of learning which helps us in obtaining knowledge. It is a continuous process which starts when we take the birth and ends when our life ends. We learn to become a good person, learn to live in home, society, community and friend circle. Attending school and receiving education is extremely vital for every person and necessary for those who want to achieve success. We all take birth in same manner at the same planet. However, do not get same opportunity to receive such type of formal education which may lead every one of us towards success because of lack of money and knowledge of the parents. One who gets proper education becomes admired by the members of the family, community and country. Proper education by all brings equality among human beings and removes the feeling of difference. Education not only makes us able to learn about history, science, math, geography and other subjects. However, it makes us smart enough to learn how to live life and handle bad situations. Thank you. Two children in a village. Both the children were brothers. One of them was six year old and the other was ten year old. Both of them had great affection for each other. They would always be together and would always play together. Once they both went out of the village while playing together. There was a forest outside the village where no one used to go. There was an old well in that forest. While playing, both those children reached near that well. Unaware of that well, suddenly the elder brother fell into the well. The elder brother started shouting loudly and started asking for help. He did not know how to swim. Seeing the elder brother <coughs> falling in the well, the six-year-old younger brother got worried and he started looking around so that he could call someone for his help. But there was no one nearby who could help him. Then the little child saw a rope lying nearby and a bucket tied to it. He quickly grabbed the rope with one hand and threw the bucket into the well with the other. The elder brother quickly grabbed the bucket. After that, the little boy started pulling his brother with all the power he had. It took him some time, but with great courage, the younger brother slowly and slowly pulled the rope and pulled his elder brother out of the well. After that, they both went back to their village. After going back to the village, they told everyone in the village what happened to them today. But no one believed them. The villagers could not believe that a small child of six years can lift the ten years old boy from the well with the help of a rope. Both the children explained a lot to them that they are telling the truth. But no one was ready to believe them. But there was an old and a wise person in the village who believed them. All the villagers had a great faith in that old wise man. The villagers went to him and said, Sir, if you believe them, then we also have to agree with you. But tell us that, how all this happened? The old wise man said, that the children are telling how this happened and that's it. The villagers again looked at each other and said, we have heard it, what children said. But our question is that, how a small child of six years who cannot even lift an iron bucket properly, how can he pull a ten years old child with an iron bucket out of the well? Where did that power came from in him? The old wise man smiled and said, My friends, 
this could be possible because at that time when the small child did this there was no one at that place who could tell him that you cannot do this if we see in our lives we will find that people's word can have a big effect on others life had there been people around that small child who would have discouraged him he would have never been able to save the older child similarly perhaps there are infinite possibilities hidden within you too but you have weakened your ability by listening to people's negative words because when you try to move on the path of progress in your life people often try to drag you backward they try to discourage you and create self doubts in you at that time if you start listening to them or believe them then you will definitely get discouraged and deviate from your path if you can turn a deaf ear to the critics the self doubts and the negative influence then you can achieve so much more in your life therefore always believe in yourself and you will do even the impossible all on the dice and off the dice today i'm here in front of you to talk about a very interesting topic that is self confidence so first of all what is self confidence as for me it is a belief and some assurance that makes you strong happy and relaxed it takes you to your dream boost up your power and it will give you a strength to do things that may fear you it is not so that a confident person will always win and achieve success in life but a self confident person will always come over any difficult situation self confidence is a quality that comes from within it is your inner voice and reflection of what you think about yourself nowadays there is no place for people in the society who are not self confident self confident people can gain success at the same time who are not self confident suffer a lot self confidence is a key to success and it plays a significant role in life of each and every individual so it is important that every parent should raise your child in an atmosphere that remains free of tension and stress in a loving atmosphere they can be more self assured and confident about themselves and their own abilities in order to become more self confident you first need to cultivate a positive attitude at the same time it is that important to take effective measures to remove or limit all the negative influences in your life start believing in yourself act on that belief and you will start building self confidence in your life always be in mind that self confidence cannot be built or boosted in a day it takes time the thing that you need to do is only this keep working on your self confidence and achieve your goal slowly and steadily thank you personalities who all are presented over here today i wish to talk a few words about self motivation we all are really lucky because we all have a great future in this world that too as a human i strongly believe that nothing is impossible to us we have the ability to conquer anything if we are well confident about ourselves we may fail but if we start to motivate ourselves definitely success will be ours that is the power of self motivation we can't motivate ourselves with words but we can do it with practice that will really inspire us many of us depends on others for getting motivation but no use at all because they are motivating us from their experiences that is not the thing that we need we must motivate us through our experiences then only we can achieve our goals we must push ourselves until we reach the goal that can't be done by others failure is a common factor it will be there in everyone's life but what matters is that how much concerned we are about our success 
When we start to dream about our success, we will definitely start to motivate us and we will pull out us from the failure and start to move in the path of success. Self-motivated people always find a way to reason and strength to complete a task. They have a strong power to motivate themselves and to encourage themselves to perform any challenging task. This is the thing that we all should adopt in our life. If we are self-motivated, we can overcome any tough situations in our life. So always try to be a self-motivated individual with a personality of your own. Thank you all. Importance of time management. The most precious thing in our life is time. You might have heard the say, time and time waits for no man. It means once lost, time can't be again back. So we must make sure that we do not waste time. God gives everyone 24 hours a day, but he doesn't tell us how to use it. So it's our responsibility to make use of time efficiently. A perfect plan is required to make use of time well. So plan your activities well. If you plan well, you do not waste much time. The only shortcut to success is efficient time management. Time management has great importance in one's life. Only those who plan well their time reach great heights. The most reputed people in our society whom we know use their time in such a manner that they do not waste even a single second of their life. Every minutes and seconds of life counts. So wise use of time leads to a successful life. Procrastination is the thief of time. Procrastination means to keep something for some another day. So don't be lazy. You, should, you must do your works regularly. Remember, an idle man's mind is a devil's workshop. So the person who is lazy can't achieve anything in his life. So finally, I would like to emphasize on the point that children must make use of their time very well. Today's children are tomorrow's citizens. So plan your life well. Time isn't the main thing. It's the only thing. So make use of your time. Make sure that you use it well. Thank you. He used to get up early in the morning and go to distant springs to get clean water. For this work, he used to carry two big earthen pots with himself, which he tied in a stick and hung on his shoulder on both sides. One of the pot was broken from somewhere and the other was just right. Because of this, the farmer was able to save only one and a half pots of water by the time he reached home. This was going on for two years. The right pot was proud of the fact that all the water reaches home and there is no shortage of water in it. While on the other hand, the broken pot used to be ashamed of the fact that it could bring only half the water and the farmer's hard work goes to waste. The broken pot started getting very upset, thinking of all this and one day he could not live with it. He said, I am ashamed of myself and want to apologize to you. Why? The farmer asked. What are you ashamed of? The broken pot said sadly. Maybe you don't know, but I have a hole at one place and due to this, for the last two years, I have been able to bring only half of the water instead of full water. This is a big deficiency in me and because of this, your hard work is being wasted. The farmer felt a little sad after hearing this from the broken pot and said, No problem, my dear. I want you to see the beautiful flowers falling on the way while returning today. The broken pot did the same. He kept looking at the beautiful flowers all along the way. By doing this, his sadness went away. But by the time he reached home, half the water had fallen from inside him. He became disheartened and started apologizing again to the farmer. The farmer said, Dear, maybe you did not notice that. On the way, all the flowers were on your side. There was not even a single flower on the other side. That's because I always knew 
what was lacking in you and i took advantage of it i had sown the seeds of colorful flowers on the road on your side you watered them little by little every day and made the whole road so beautiful today it is because of you that me and other people can see these beautiful flowers seeing these beautiful flowers everyone can be happy and forget their sorrows people offer these beautiful flowers in the temple and get peace of mind they take home these beautiful flowers and make their home beautiful if you were not broken do you think this would have been possible don't think you are useless you are not useless you are worthy because you have become the reason for happiness of thousands of people if we see in our life we will see that sometimes we start feeling useless